Check, 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 check. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Gemini Scorpio podcast is underway. Uh, sheesh. J Hill, I'm here. Hill of Bay, Sade is here. Um, we got to break. We got to open up the podcast with some sad news. We literally just got the news that Kobe Bryant has passed away. Um, he died in a helicopter crash and his two daughters was with him. I think one. One? One. One? Mm -hmm. Um... Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Um, we were just having this conversation of about the GOAT. And uh, me and my producer slash audio engineer slash videographer now. Um, Alex is in the building. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to Alex. We were just having a conversation of uh, the GOAT gene. And not even, what was it, like 15 minutes after? Like as soon as we got food, like five minutes after we seen the TMZ report that uh, Kobe Bryant had died in a helicopter crash. I am, um, I don't know, it's kind of messed my whole mood up. So um, bear with me, I'm pulling it together, you know. You know, his daughter being on there, just the whole, the whole thing is just overall sad. So, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I'm just in one of those things, it's just like, Give people their flowers while they can smell them, y'all. Yeah, like, and that's one thing I, I'm I'm kind of glad that I was given. Like I always was a Kobe fan. Like I I'm not even the biggest basketball fan. I played football, and I don't have nothing to do with me being a basketball fan. But I just wasn't the biggest basketball fan. But one thing I always held true was I always showed Kobe Bryant his love, and I always gave him his flowers while he was here because I, me personally, I thought he was next best basketball player next to Michael Jordan. I know some people would say he would be the second best basketball player next to Jordan, but LeBron would be like the second best athlete. And that wouldn't make sense. But um, I don't know, from what I saw him do just in my time for being here, he was definitely one of the greatest basketball players I've ever seen. Like when I'm talking about clutch, I'm talking about just athleticism. I'm talking about being able to come through when you need it. He definitely was uh, one of the best. And I, I'm, I'm happy I was able to give him his, his roses while he was here. Um. Also, uh, R.I.P. D. Dave. Yeah, I, I was about to say R.I.P. D. 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 Dave as well. I always gave him his, his love when he was here. Uh, D. Dave was one of the most talented artists out of Baltimore, and I think that um, you know, I I don't know, man. I knew him personally. I didn't know him in his everyday life. Like I wasn't his best friend or anything. But I don't think he was doing anything that could have. Uh, just cause harm from this, but you never know, man. It's just it's just crazy because like you want to know what God be thinking, but you know, you're not supposed to question him. So it's just sad that D Dave had to go because like he was a, a very, very, very positive view. Every time I seen him it was love. Like when I told him my car was down, he was like, Man, if you ever need help, whatever, you need a ride, let me know. I can um pull up, I can grab you or whatever. Like D Dave was one of those just special people. And um and it's crazy because we're talking about special people because Kobe Bryant was as well. Um, you never want to see death come like this, and especially like D. Davey got killed. Um, he got shot in his head, and you just never want to see that. Uh, but, you know, Kobe Bryant, I was telling Alex, like, it's, it's sad to see anybody go, but I'm just glad Kobe Bryant was able to live his life and be great and show people that you can become somebody great and somebody special. It's sad that his daughter had to go. Um, now, that's just, I have no words for that. But, like, far as Kobe, is like, damn, I'm glad that he was able to live a legacy and show people that, look, you can do this. You can be black, African-American and still do this. You can you can go from that and still build another career. He was just about to, he was building his second career. And it's, it's just crazy. Like, I'm, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know. I'm trying to cry on camera because I'm like, mm. it's a rough week. Yeah, it is. Uh, but you know, unfortunately, you know, one of the uh, <clears throat> tweets I've been um, banking on all week was just how you know, uh, at work, like you know, anything can happen to you, and and the and the show goes on. Um, they'll replace you. They'll, you know, it. 
the show goes on and it's unfortunate to say that you know even in times like these the marathon definitely does continue like you know and um i think in a light to put it in just when things like this do happen i always think it's like that reminder it's time to get that extra gear put that extra battery in your back because you want to live your purpose out you don't want to be taken too soon before you're able to do what god put you here to do like mm -hmm. so don't take your time for granted don't you know don't don't just sit and think like it can't be you it can't be a family right it could be anybody at any given day and you just want to always be kind do the best you can to be the best person you could be work your hardest to be that person you're trying to be and those messages that you're receiving for confirmation go get it go do what you got to do because unfortunately life does go on and even after these times you still have to be here you still have to get to whatever's next so yeah, man, was, yeah. Um, i was just talking to, again I, we, we was having this conversation getting some food getting ready for the podcast whatever and we were just talking about like coming in the door it was like it's crazy that like even in the career that that i'm in that um i mean even that we're going in shade with the podcast is like all these these sites have to post it because they got to be the first person right it was like they got to be the one to break the news when it's all about the intention i feel like the intention ain't to be like damn man kobe lost kobe is like because it's work you have to be the first one to break that news because you want you want to be the first source that everybody be like i can go to i can go to and it's uh that's one of the sad things because again life do move on and it's like we can't stop we gotta record this podcast you know what i'm saying we gotta um continue to go to work and it, it can't stop because of something that's, that's happening and it's just uh i don't know it's unfortunate um, um i definitely condolences to his family to his wife to his yeah other kids else, right yes yeah. two other daughters um you know gianna is the one who he's lost who we lost with kobe um you know prayers to vanessa you know a lot of things that you know i think about is just like you know it's RIP to them, but the mourning and the healing that the family has to go through, you know, I, I just send all every bit of my heart that I have out to their family, D Dave's family, like anybody who has to mourn and go through these times because it's, it's really hard to do. So it's like we could watch it and we feel it, but just imagine us feeling it for the people who are the closest to him and his daily in his day to day life and. How that affects their new day to day is it's sad and it, it it hurts like really bad so yeah um we get <clears throat> uh yeah just want to definitely send our condolences to him i guess we can follow the terrible news with a little bit of good news i guess um shout out to us in bel-air um we definitely Valentine. yeah we got the call but well, we got the email from bel-air yeah. they must have seen us tag so first yeah. first and foremost shout out to uh dre yeah dre for even allowing us to take some of his product because he didn't have to give us that yeah. he didn't um that definitely was yeah he gave it to us he showed us mad love he had to yeah. do that which was a which made us able to tag you know what i'm saying um so somebody reached out to them and they were just saying that we, we was doing good things and whatever so she had emailed me and said yo once you be a part of the family, so we officially Bel Air Bel -Air, Black Bottle Black Boys, Bottle Boys um, and ambassadors. Girl, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? You see? Shout out to Bel Air, you know what's in the cup. Yeah. Um. Also, we got Milani on today. You know what I'm saying? A little active work going on. I am going to go to the gym today, and now I definitely need to blow some steam off. So I'm in there with you. We, we hopefully, I can not get too drunk off the Blair. And make my dizzy ass on to the gym. Also got, you know, the waist trainer on. Because it's Sunday. So, you know, we waist train at Gym Fits on the body. So, at Gym Fits Fitness. And, of course, at Milani, the brand. And, um, of course, don't be stingy with the at Catch 22. At this point, I just want to drink and smoke as fast as I can. Just smoke me and drink me up. Okay? It's that type of day. Yeah. At Catch 22 hookah. You already know. Always setting the Sunday vibes proper. Guess what, y'all? I also took my tree down. So it's giving rural vibes in here. It's not so Christmassy. It's giving, you know, young, you know, lounge. Okay? Definitely <laughs> giving Gemini Podcast lounge. <laughs> Facts. Hey, uh, so you want to um start the pod? Go ahead, baby. I'm going to let you start it. So 
I don't know. I feel like I don't know what I want to do with this pod because I had something I want to talk about, but I also want to, I think I want to keep the trend today of just giving flowers while we're here. Um, I think I, that's definitely something I want to do. So today I think I actually want to switch this up a little bit. All right. Um, first I had my topic, but now what I want to do is maybe we'll shed light on more things that we both may like. Like, so like, you know, typically we come on here, we talk about things like we could do to get better or something we may not like or something that we could do better. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to take the time to give you some flowers while you're here and tell you some things that I do like. Okay. Okay. So, you know, one thing that I really like about Jay, you know, before we started this podcast, um, I was very unsure about it. Something that I really didn't know if I wanted to do because at the same time I've also kind of built this boundary around myself which gave me a lot of privacy to my life and I really really liked it um but there was a point in my time in my life where I actually was very very vocal always this outspoken girl I love to dance and be just this free spirit obviously life humbles us sometimes and it can also what I've learned is shut down your voice because life humbling you you know it makes you just more just like, you know, well, I don't, you know, like I'm good. Like I don't need to say too much. I don't need to do too much. I know the after effects of what life can give you and I'm okay with that. Doing the podcast, I realized that it allowed me to have a level of authenticity that I thought before that I had down pat that I'm realizing now <clears throat> vulnerable and all, it actually gives me this better peace and happiness around me. So first I want to say thanks, Bay, for pushing me all the time to be myself and to jump out there and who cares what, you know, people think and just love you, whatever anybody thinks, whether they rock with it or not, we good. You fuck with me. It doesn't matter. So here we are. So I'm giving you your flowers. It's not real flowers, but smell uh, them anyway. Thank you, Bay. Thank you. Thank you. You can smell them anyway. Giving Jay his flowers. You know, he's also a great boss, you know, all the way around, you know, in hindsight, um, I don't think I ever wanted to say that Jay was directly my boss because I think women in general and in, in, in a relationship, I don't think one person wants the boss title. We got to be equal. No, we both do this. But I'm okay with saying that my man is actually the boss. You know, he definitely holds down the four, especially of the Gemini, spot, Gemini Scorpio podcast of just running the show, making sure we have everything we need, whether it's cameras, lights, you know, a producer, a videographer, everything. He has given us the ship. You know, I'm just here, you know, helping the ship run. But Jay is the boss. And thank you, boss. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. I almost shed a tear for that. Thank you, boss. But, no, nah, no problem. Um, he damn. doesn't even know how to say compliments. Look. He don't even know. He you can't even say nothing nice to Jay because he's like, I mean, you know, I'm all right. <laughs> like, nah, I was, I was actually just saying like, I definitely like, I wasn't expecting that, and it, um, damn, that's crazy. Uh, give people their flowers while they can smell them. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, you're welcome, babe. Uh, it's crazy because uh, I think I said this before here. Like, one thing I fuck with though, like you definitely was with it though. Like it wasn't like um. But it was hard for me to do. I was with it because I wanted him to show him. It's funny because as you have seen previous episodes where Jay says I just, I'm not completely consistent on a lot of things, right? This is one thing I will say that I kept consistency 100%. because a lot of it was also to show Jay I can be consistent. But in hindsight, it he really didn't notice that he brought me something that I love to do. Mm. Like, you know, and and, and 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 it's with him and, and it works because I love to do it with him. I love to do it in general and just, you know, showing my vulnerable side has helped me a lot. Just, you know, just being authentically me every day of the week. I don't have to shut down. I don't have to silence up. I don't have to. I can be me even with adjustments and doing better, but being me through that process. So. No, nah, definitely, because there's been times like when I didn't want to record, and here comes Shadi, like, yeah, we got to record today. Yeah. And like I haven't said, I didn't say anything, but in my mind, I'm like, man, fuck this podcast. Like, I'm he low key be secretly <laughs> hoping that I'd be like, not today, babe. But but like even nah. today, on a day like today, here we are. Shout out to Alex pushing through with us. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we here. Yeah. Gemini Scorpio podcast. We're uh, here. So I mean, I guess my topic was um. Uh well. Oh, look, let's go on to the topic. I just wanted to you know dedicate. 
just to make sure we are giving each other their flowers. I mean, dang, we could hear the bags crumpling. Right, like baby, my my in here getting snacks, deuces. Annoying. You just said you was full too, but you eat. But you want blueberry muffins, right? Come on, you making all the noise, dragging a charger. Come on, come on, get out of here. Speed up, scram. Um, boom. But we can go into the topics. You know, I just wanted to definitely make sure that I gave you some flowers. You know. It's been a rough couple you, of days. I'm you some roses then. Okay. You know, I'm always down to get a couple of roses. <laughs> okay? Nah, man. I, I, I feel like I always give, well, I always tell my friends about you. <laughs> so anyway. Jay swear he tell me stuff, but it's either in his head or he told somebody else. Facts. This is like a constant <laughs> thing. Like, it's like, babe, didn't I tell you? Oh, shit. I was thinking that. I thought I told you. One day I was on the phone. Got real cute. I'm on the phone. I'm sitting here smiling like, are you going to tell me I'm pretty? In my mind, I'm like, so, I already said it. Like, in my so mind, I'm like, like, you look good. So finally, like, after like 15 minutes go by, I'm like, you ain't even tell me I look pretty. He like, I did say that. I said, no, you didn't. And he go, oh, I was thinking it. I'm like, what the hell? But even that, you see how like you you ain't even tell me. I, we always talk about that. You yeah, ain't even. You ain't even. Tell you ain't me even. Tell me because I need to know. I, I come in. It. I come in today. Y'all didn't see anything. Y'all didn't see anything. How many times I gotta tell you what my love language is? Reassurance. And how many times I gotta tell you you gotta help me to get there? Like yes. that's not my so, love so language. Guess what I just did? I gave you your flowers first. Mm -hmm. Boom. Dope. So now I'm, I'm about to give you All your right, flowers. I'm welcome in. <laughs> so now, nah, uh, one thing about Shada is, it's a lot. So like, far as the the business. She's definitely like, she's like right there. So even at times like when she might say something that I don't agree with or whatever, the fact that it's like she's right there beside me all the time. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But all the time, um, the fact that. Am I don't come back out here. Cause. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand. Me either. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's it's honestly everything. Like the fact that she she's giving me good advice. She's always there. Um, everything. So I feel like all my comments. Let me just let me get away from work. You look pretty, babe. You know what I'm saying? You always looking good for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. I love so. It's funny. I, I'm gonna get into that. So it's funny because like all I really care about is my work. So everything I'm gonna compliment her about is like being there right. for me and my work because like that's really like if if it was no Sade. It probably would just be me and my work. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that it, it is her, she it's like she it sounds well like she complain, but the fact that it is she's always there. She always helped me out. She always give me ideas. She always like doing something to help my business if it comes to like even me having a, a assistant. She'll probably be texting my assistant. You know what I'm saying? She'll text me. So what we gonna do? Or uh like the support. Like, so to me, it might not mean a lot to somebody else, but to me that means the world. Because like you just being there for me to listen to me when I'm frustrated, to uh to, to give me a shoulder to lean on, like to me, that means the world. Like, so everybody else might be like, hey, I ain't even saying that. But to me, that means a lot because, like, I literally all I care about is my work. But I think that's a point when people got to understand their partner's love language. See, if I didn't know that your work is something you really, really cared about, then, and I wasn't supportive in that way, it probably would make you distant. And it goes to even other degrees. Like, say somebody likes something else, like, if that's what that person likes and that's their love language, again, we are responsible to love people how they need to be loved versus how we love. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You got to get comfortable with stepping out of the way. Like, no, this is the way I do it. This is the way I do it because you have to, people don't, like, we don't know you. Like, you right. know, like, I know you now, but this shit, is we how We barely I, even I, know each other. Right, Two years, like, but. It, that ain't shit. People know each other 15 years and learn something on the 16th year and be like, oh. <gasps> Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we don't know. So at the end of the day, you know, a lot of it, you have to, first of all, get into what your partner's into, like, and like, gauge it and see like, yeah, okay, they like this, they like that. Like, and this actually goes into my topic, so I'm gonna let you finish. But like, they like this, they like that. Like, no, you can finish giving me my flowers. Go ahead. I gave you all the flowers. You always supportive. You always there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you look good by doing it. You know what I'm saying? And there's some other things that I can't really say. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom. My topic today was actually um, 
courting in a relationship. Mm, okay. Romanticizing in a relationship. So, as you know, everybody gets a little comfortable after some time go on. It's not that she What the fuck does that mean? I don't get comfortable. So, it's not that like, you know, oh my god, I'm uh, you know, I might see Bay, you know, an hour, so let me make sure I'm this or that. Or it's not like, oh, shit, you know, like, let me spread that extra cologne. Or, like, it's, it's so many things that we used to do in the beginning that, and then relation go, goes on, and then you're like, you like, man, I don't got that shit. This nigga know my scent for the last 30 days. Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? I don't got to do none of that. I don't got to buy this Versace perfume no more that he once liked when we yeah. first got together. I don't got to shave as often. I don't got You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Speaking of, you know, hold on, I'm going to go there in a second. So, all that to say is courting in a relationship. When do you check in to the court? So, for example, what I mean by that. All right, you go some time, like, you know, you may be working. The, the other spouse may be working. Um, days been go by. It's a lot going on. Life is happening. When do you think, let me check in to court. So, for me, honestly, like, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's all about time. So, uh, it's, I feel like it's all about your time and your clock. You know, like, for me, I know when I got to check in, when I got to court. Because sometimes, if I'm getting frustrated, then maybe I got to check in. Like, it's like, all right, if I'm getting frustrated with my work, yeah, maybe it might be time to check in. Like, uh, I think, I don't know, when we want to go see. Uh, last week. Yeah. Last week. When we go see Bad Boys. Bad Boys. So like for me it's like yo, all right, I'm dragging. Like like, like I'm looking <laughs> at my schedule and it's like, all right, bro, like I gotta me and my yeah. wife, we gotta go somewhere, we gotta do something. But honestly, again, I and this falls in what you were saying, how uh I, I might think something, but I don't say it. I'm always thinking about that. I just don't be having a bread to keep it hundred. Yeah. So like my work, I was blessed enough to to been doing this for so long that I eventually got more cameras, I eventually got lights, so I can and I built relationships. Uh, thank God for Alex. Thank God for Wyman. I built relationships where it, it's not as much cost efficient as it used to be, if that makes sense, right? So I can do this. I can work all the time. And a lot of times when I'm working, I'm getting paid. If if it's not if it's even not if it's not a paid gig, but I can do that. But when I'm when it comes to like courting, yeah, everybody say you could take your girl out on a picnic and all that and all that. For me, what I be wanting to do it costs money. So I be thinking about it all the time. Believe it or not, it's just that. I probably don't do it as much as I want to, but to answer your question, it's really like, it's a clock on, it's really a mental clock. And I feel like what you were saying earlier, like sometimes you got to check in with your partner because sometimes when my mental clock is like, all right, it's time, your, your, your spouse's mental clock could have been said, right. it been time, nigga. Right. <laughs> so what, it, what, what do you think courting is? Like, what's your definition of courting? Oh, to me, it's like just a, not even a date, like just showing your yeah, spouse, it was a significant other love you get what i'm saying like like taking them out uh going on dates um i mean to me it's really just yeah. dates to be honest yeah. like it's going out mm -hmm. taking them dates um so like not even sitting down watching the movie like to me that's not really cool and like right. we sit in the living room watch yeah. movies whatever but i think it's really like taking them out yeah or dating like as if like we just met or something like that type shit. how do you feel about females courting men mm. i feel like honestly you gonna hate me for this one, babe. <laughs> I feel like women don't do it for real, cause I, I feel like um, it's crazy, cause I like I I don't think I really spoke to you about this too often, but I feel like the expectation is on men because like that's just what men do, and and it's crazy, cause like I don't want to sound crazy, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like we was talking about this goat gene or whatever, right? So like yeah, the average man should take his woman out all the time, of course. Like that's how I look at it as well. Uh. Now, when you look at me, I don't think I'm the average man. And that's nothing against nobody else. Mm -hmm. But I say to say, like, I'm always working. Like, I'm like, when I say, like, I'm not joking. Like, I'm like, I was watching the, I, we all want to get into the Kevin Hart thing. But, like, I was watching it and I was just, like, just getting angry. Because I'm just like, that's me, nigga. Like, fuck, like, not fuck. Like, I love it. But it's like, that's me. But I say to say, like, I'm always working. So, for me, it's like, man, I know I'm supposed to. I gotta work, I gotta pay, I gotta do all this, I gotta do this, and I gotta court my woman because that's my woman. I always gotta treat my woman right. But part of me be like, man, I wish my woman would court me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish my woman would like really give me the love. But I can't really say that out loud because I'm gonna get crucified because I'm a man. Like, it's supposed to, it's my job. Like, if, if you get what I'm saying. So, like, I really think women should court men more because 
you just never know how much a man got on his plate. Granted, you never know what how much a woman got on her plate either. But I just feel like how we grown up is just like it's all on a man a lot a lot of times. And then granted, as far as like just getting the job done, like bills is on a man, like the bills don't get paid, that's on a man. It's just a lot on men, just like it's a lot on women. So to answer your question, I think So do you think it's fifty fifty courting or do you think it's like women should court men more than men court women? All right, so Honest opinion. No, honest opinion. Um, again, it, it it depends. So, originally, my original take would be like it should be men should court women more, like just just to keep it hundred. Like that's what I would that's what I would say originally. Like, is the man's job to court the woman? Like it is what it is. But again, depending on the relationship and depending on what you're doing or who's doing what in the relationship, then we gotta really sit down and look at it. Like, all right. Who's really busy or who's really don't? So you think it comes down to the busier aspect, like who's doing more? It it can, like it can, because like again, the other person, even if you are. How do you determine who's doing more? Um, I think a real conversation, like or like a, a a real sit down, mature conversation. Just I mean, even if you want to write it down, you know what I'm saying, but. It depends. Like that's a hard conversation to have because you no, know, everybody wants to be superior. Or every everybody wants to be great in the aspect. Like even you got even watch your words. Like even me saying I'm not your average guy. Like that's offensive to some other people. You get what I'm saying? Because what you mean? Like I'm not average. I might not do what you do, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? It really that's a tricky conversation. If that if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Because like just because somebody do something don't mean the other person is doing any less or more. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just. I don't know. I just feel like women should do it more often. That's like that's okay. the safe. I'll answer. take more often. That makes yeah. sense because you know, I also think that I I think the reason why you know, for example, I see a lot of times where it's like you know, women need a um, how you say like ex- like especially women who are wives and have kids need extra time to self care for mm-hmm. the simple fact that they do a lot like you know Facts, what i mean 100%. whether it's work or not yeah. they, do they still a do lot, a lot right? even if it's like like yeah, exactly right. like, it doesn't matter like you know what i mean it, they like a mother and a housewife does a lot Hell like yeah. period Hell you know yeah. what i'm saying and not to take away there's girlfriends that live with their significant others that are not married and don't have kids that do, still a, do lot, a lot yeah. right so all that to say is i think that notion of courting more to the female goes into those terms i'm yep. not talking about Little girls, no offense, sitting at home, living at home with their mom and dating. I'm talking about real women that get up, go to work, and completely hold the house down and or have because, a kid and hold the kid down. Because if you think about it, though, right? <clears throat> Honestly, this is my opinion. Let's just say both people average. At at average, your woman is going to do more than a man because at average, just my, my opinion, at average, your man is going to go to work. He might... Let's just say the, the uh, old school way, he might make more than a woman or whatever it may be. So he's really providing all the money for the expenses. He's going to go to work. He's going to come home. And that's pretty much it. Now, New your day. woman, mm-hmm. she, she's going she to run with the work. She's mm-hmm. going to take care of the kids. Mm-hmm. She's going to cook. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's going to clean. She's going to do Everything. all that. And even, mm-hmm. let's, let's take away the job shit. She's still going to clean, cook, take care of the kids. The kids on, on itself is... And don't a let lot. him play be an athlete. You get what I'm don't let him play a yeah, you sport know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's yeah. a lot. So when it comes to it, you damn right the nigga right. should be courting the woman because right. she's dealing with a whole lot. Right. Not saying you're not dealing with a lot at work, but right. well, I mean So let just, me ask so okay, so even with court, courting, I guess my my overall is going into romanticizing. Mm, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, every guy, and I'm not sorry to say this, doesn't have the romantic like Ability, so they don't know, you know, get her the flowers today, you know, put the candles out, um, and you know, a, a situation that makes it like give her butterflies, mm-hmm. not not necessarily courting, because you know, date nights are nece- a necessity, like that is courting, like a date night, but I think men have dates down. I think men know bare minimum, like I gotta date my girl, like right. so I gotta. We gotta go sit down and go to. That's eat. a different conversation. We gotta go to dinner. Mm-hmm. We got, you know what I mean. But when it goes to romanticizing mm-hmm. your girl, yeah, uh, 
Yeah. I don't think that a lot of men have the romantic genetic. So meaning they don't know how to go put an aisle of flowers down the aisle or, you know, down down the walkway into the bedroom and, and da da da. And I think when I ain't gonna give them that much credit. What? To say somebody don't know. Okay. That's to say, you know what I'm saying? Like they do know, they just don't do it. Yeah, I I'm I'm not even gonna say like to give them that much credit. I'm gonna say that they just are not mindful. Okay. Because to say somebody don't know, that's to be like, okay, well, you can accept that. Like, they don't know. When you know better, you do better, right? But um, how does a woman introduce that to her partner? Uh, like, so, so say a girl loves to be romanticized, and they yearn it because I think just about every woman fantasizes about romantic moments. I think that goes. So the thing I think that goes into. Really getting to know people. I feel like we really you got Future skip- out here wilding. Future yeah. done did it for all three of his BMs. You know what I'm saying? But he's a romantic nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bitches. That's why you see bitches like, damn, I wish Future playing my birthday too. I just, but a lot of times that comes into money. One, because okay. like it's easy to do these things when you got mm-hmm. the money to do it. Mm-hmm. Two, uh, I just feel like a lot of this That's stuff that, comes, so. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of this stuff also comes into when you first meet somebody. Mm-hmm. Like if we first meet, and I and I haven't done this, or I, I'm not that type of guy, or whatever the case may be, and it's acceptable to you. Right. Then I'm not gonna ever do it because right. if that's how I was, you know what I'm right. saying? That wasn't me to to be all this. Do you think that goes into the lines of when people say things like, "If you let them give you peanuts, they'll give you peanuts." Yeah. If you let them give you a steak, they'll give you a steak. One hundred percent. Right. I think. So I, whose responsibility does that lie on? The females for taking the peanuts and accepting the peanuts, or the man's for giving peanuts when he could have gave the steak. Who, nah, who, who like, does that fall on? I feel like it's both though, because both? A, a lot of times, like again, you don't, you don't. When you, when you know better, you do better. So if I never had a woman that I had to like court or be romantic with yeah. all the time, then you know. I'm not gonna do that moving right. forward. But once I like, all right. So for example, right, I uh I, I tweeted this, and people probably understand what I said. So I seen Offset during the Grammys. He had uh. Moist is like his, his um, fix her hair. Yeah, fix her hair. Whatever. Hair. She's about to take a picture. Thought it was the dopest thing ever. Right. So yes, to me, so fix to that baby's hair on camera. So to me, I didn't think that was the dopest thing ever. To me, that was regular. I'm like, I, I tweeted him like she told him that. Like that's okay. like to me. So like for example, like or he has sisters that told him that. Yeah. Or like, a mother that yeah, told him that. But so no, you're right. So to me, it's been no, hundred percent. Like, no, 100%. like you know to what me, saying? I learned that already. Like through you. Like even like so. Luckily, like my last two exes, and not to say, this is nothing against my. All my other exes, but like my last two exes were really like into how they looked or whatever, right? So like with you, you always had made it clear like if I'm on camera or whatever, like fix the little things. Like that's why you want a woman around when you're recording or somebody take a picture because you want somebody to fix fix the the, the, the little thin mm-hmm. hair that might be sticking mm-hmm. out, right? So like for me, I know if you about to take pictures, I'm gonna make sure everything is intact right. because if you right. see it, you're not gonna like it, and right. then you gonna look at me like why you ain't right. fixing? Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So like to me, that's like. Somebody. I know that. Like right. that's like, that's right. some like for example, if, right. I don't know if we go out and you come home and you got makeup on, take your makeup off or something like that. Like to me, that shit. Yeah, that's I want to talk about that too because I remember you used to brag about that. He was like, you know, I I think when I first we were dating, <coughs> excuse me, catch twenty two. So I remember when we like in the beginning of us just talking. You was like, I think you had put it on your Instagram one time when your story was like, you know, make sure. Your ladies, when she go to sleep, take her makeup off. Yeah. You don't always take my motherfucking makeup off. No, I don't. That's crazy. Comfortable. Niggas get real comfortable. See, I don't get all my motherfucking makeup taken off all the time. You did, though, a couple times, but you don't always take my makeup off. I mean, yeah. That's comfortable or what? I don't think it's comfortable. I just probably just, I don't know. Probably you don't just, care. Not that I don't care. I mean, it might be comfortable or I just probably forgot sometimes. But, mm, all right, fair. But, but again, another thing. Honestly, you never was that type to... Like you never was like make sure my makeup is is off when we before. But we you so because I didn't think I had you. You was posting like fellas, make sure you take your ladies' makeup off. But that's so when I got with you, I feel like you were already going to sleep with your makeup on. I feel like that was like <laughs> that was I just something that drunk. you. I'm coming with drunks, but yeah. you could have showed me the Facts. same way you 100%. said Car- Cardi showed him. It's yeah, not yeah. necessary that Cardi showed him. He could have, and then she probably like, oh my yeah. god, now you right. always fixes my hair. I never had to tell him that, and thought okay. it was a, a yeah. great thing. Now you right. You ain't coming, like baby. I know you always fall asleep with your makeup on, drunk. Let me take your makeup off because that's what fellas do, and that's what I tell fellas to do. You okay. ain't coming like that. All right, no, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yes, when I'm drunk, I fall asleep with my makeup on. But sorry, no, I don't have bad skin. My skin is always good, so it's not like something I have to always keep remember. You know. However, 
when I'm drunk, it's just not. I'm not just. No, I get it. it. I mean, but uh, but like yeah, to go back to your ring of point, I just feel like it depends. Like a man could be introduced to it, uh, and if he's not, he probably just going to continue to live his life. But his life, how he lived it before he met you. Hmm. Fair enough. So, how does one woman tell her man to be more romantic? Uh, just say it just like be yeah. more romantic I mean to me yeah just be like uh, well, why you want me it? to be more more romantic yes, that's what I you do. brought this up yes I do oh my god yes. all right, can you yes. be so alright never mind you alright no 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 go ahead cause you're like can you be I, yeah, I, I felt it coming I mean yeah, yeah like cause you know it's not Jay is a very charming guy don't get that fucked up um, he does a lot of things that gives me butterflies on the regular. However, I'm a woman of fantasy. I'm just that type of girl. And I know a lot of women just, again, we love things when, when we're not thinking your thoughtful measures. Like, and I do mean in a romantic way, whether it's like, you know what I mean? Even with minimal money, whether it's I come home, it's candles lit all the time. You're like, baby, sit down, let me rub your feet. Let me put you, let me like, let me rub your back. Let me give you a massage. Let me use the oil that's in the bathroom. I'm gonna rub you down, take, you know, it's, it's music playing on. I remember one time Jay told me like a song that reminded me, a throwback R&B song. He just started singing it in the car. The cutest thing, you know, not to say you don't do it. Like, again, he doesn't not do these things, but yeah, as a woman, I want it more. Like, you know what I mean? I, I like, you know, we love to be, you know, a fantasy and love to feel like your man desires you in that way. So yeah, pull up on me romantically. You know what I'm saying? More flowers, more all that. We love that shit. What about period? No, I mean you're right. I'm yeah. Uh, I think that just comes in the fact that like when you come home from work, I'm probably still working. That's fact. Like I'm. That's fact. Like you. But come, where do we fit it in? That's my point. Like so you we know, fit it you, in. You, by, you say time and time again. Like I'm always working. So you know mental time clock. I know when to check in. So how do you check these points in instead of just like, you know, dinner, maybe we don't do dinner again or we don't do the movie again because, you know, obviously your brain knows to do that. When does it come in? So, you know what? Let me be a little more romantic this time because I do always work and I don't get to show her. I mean, conversations like this to, to me, like for real, like you just said, mm -hmm. be more romantic. So next time I that mental clock goes in my head instead of going out to like to dinner or a movie, I probably do that. And I mean, that's fine with me. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you gotta be open for the conversation. Again, yeah. me, I have things in my mind that I, I think things can go such and such, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. But you again, yeah. Oh, shoot. But yeah, that's. I'm sitting right here. I didn't even see that shit. Yeah, that, I mean, that's wow, it. Like, that's what I'll do. It's, All right, baby. I'm looking forward to my romantic night. Mm -hmm. As you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, you know, let's make it a vibe. For us both. I, I got some nice plan for you too, though. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to Valentine's Plan more Plan more things for men man Be there emotionally For men more often I you know I really feel like That's a slap in the face Because I just said I had something planned for you No I'm, I'm talking about Period like, Oh okay yeah. I just thought that was for me that Is that even it. Is so, that even, even recording Because I, I, I peeped That it ain't Go off I'm like We doing good I, don't, I hope I don't jinx it But um mm -hmm. Is it Is it Oh okay Is it Is it my My turn for my My Yeah so again Yes we can definitely Do more nice things For men yeah. Yeah, men are very much deserving and um you know I, you know it's so funny because i low-key in my head I, like one time we was about to argue and i'm like this thing want me to court him so bad that's what that's what i wanted to say but it makes sense and you know it's not a bad thing that men want to be courted in the same way like you know um and it's not that again it doesn't mean you show them any less affection it's just the court part like so you could be the sweetest person to your man all day, but you still have to take them on a date. Yeah, sometimes. take me out. You know what I'm um, saying? Treat me nice. Give me a massage. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see a nigga working all day. Like, literally, like, I probably am doing 22 out of 24 hours work. You know what I'm saying? Like, show me the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, but again, oh, baby. I think conversations like this. you nice right after this. Thanks, babe. I think conversations like this need to be held. You know what I'm saying? Instead of yeah. like, I rather, Assuming yeah, or or saying, babe, why are you not doing this? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Conversations like this is cool, but uh, I think that was definitely a great topic to uh, what's talk your, about. What's yours? What's your, what's your, what we got going on? Don't say anything crazy because I feel something crazy coming on. And honestly, <laughs> I'm already being a crybaby today. I might cry. Now, mine is uh, it's on men again. It's I wanted to talk about splitting the rent. In a, in a relationship. Oh my God, I seen some. Go ahead, because I seen some great on Twitter today that what I thought see? was crazy. What you see? Not crazy. So basically, a guy and a girl are dating. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that's the same thing. No, it's no, not. No, that's not. But I could pull it up. So a guy and a girl are dating, 
and basically they live separate. Mm -hmm. The girl pays eighteen hundred for rent uh, by herself. The guy actually has a home. He's a homeowner. The house is paid off, right? Damn. So boom, they both have these expenses. Um, so they're with each other. They're dating for a while now, and the conversation of them moving in together comes up. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, he told her, "You can move in with me to my home instead of you looking for a cheaper apartment, but you have to pay eight hundred dollars in utilities." Okay. So the conversation went to, uh, who was right or wrong in that situation? Should he have not told her that she should pay eight hundred plus utilities when the house is paid off, or is she okay to turn that down and be like, mm, I'll just live by myself if I'm still going to pay rent and your house is paid off. So I went into this big topic. Like it's crazy. Cause it was all over the place. Like some people are like, bro, you're, you was paying 1800. You about to save $800. Like take it. Some people are like, a thousand. <laughs> some people are like, well, the house is paid off. Why don't y'all just split utilities? Um, so, um, some people like now, basically you're his, tenant you're no longer his girlfriend so bitch go get your own place some people are like bitch if you can't pay 800 and you come from 1800 you need to be single so yeah like what, what, what is your like example of that you have today i mean honestly i feel like in that situation i ain't gonna say that nigga wrong you know what i'm saying like he helped me you by a property thousand taxes you know what i'm saying he helped property me you by, he helped me by a thousand dollars one um probably a little less than a thousand dollars because you're gonna be paying utilities uh but he's definitely helping you um was he white no nah, they were a black couple i think i think he just has the financial aspect and financial literacy part down to a t because i That's feel like good. a lot of times nice i like that i feel like a lot of a lot of times as black men and women we go wrong by letting love guide us and not being strategic and being smart uh like we had a conversation on here before about how sometimes We'll do things out of love that are hurt hurt us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like even like, yeah. yeah, we'll do things out of love that are hurt us and it, it'll fuck us up. Mm -hmm. When we didn't really have to do that, and and our partners is not gonna love us any less or any more mm -hmm. for not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like that was a good decision. Right. But again, right. I'm 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 in the yeah, and that engineer of I'm trying to get right. out of that. Right? right? If it was me, I probably wouldn't have did that right. because I'm not the best with financial literacy at this point or mm -hmm. i'm just i'm still moving with love i think that yeah. if, if you my girl we together you come in you don't have to pay anything you know what i'm saying that's just the type of person i am so split and run what's your yeah name? so i had an example so, I, so I that's this. on that topic what yeah, yeah so so i was reading this on somebody posted this on instagram and on twitter and i think it's ridiculous but you never know so the tweet goes i'm not splitting no rent with no nigga i don't give a fuck who you are any female living with a man the most they should be paying is BG and E cable and market. That's it. A man is supposed to provide exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, commission point. And any mm -hmm. nigga who don't, any nigga who don't provide or ask to do more or less, or any nigga who don't provide or ask you to do more is less of a man. Yeah. I said what I said. Mm. Seen that too. Who do you want to know what I think? Or yeah, you what what do you think? You agree with that? I think that it depends on circumstance because, um, you know, that's just not in every guy's favor to just be able to take on a whole rent and, you know, you just be paying utilities and stacking your bread or doing whatever you want to do while they have the whole rent on their head. It's, it's not always going to be like that. I think in some situations when men, you know, have the money and they were already, you know, paying this much and they want to do that, that's their choice. But people got to stop acting like we are celebrities and we live this rich famous life no the fuck we don't we are all striving to be successful striving to get there but right now we are all not there like we can't just be saying like yeah pay this twenty five hundred dollar rent and i'm gonna just pay groceries <laughs> and bg and e and yeah like it doesn't go like that like that's just not realistic measures. So because it's not that to put that on any man as if life isn't hard enough and as if every job is paying over 150,000 a year, like you're crazy. Like yeah. that doesn't make sense to put on anybody. If you can't afford, like if you can't afford it, what makes you think he can? You ain't about to say what I don't like about it is nobody's about to say like, oh, you don't have it. 
as a female and a female who does have it, I have it, just move it with me. I'm going to take care of all the rent. You don't even want to say that. And even if you did it, you're going to do it on the sneak. You're not going to tell your friends that you're paying all the rent while this nigga living in your house. You're just not going to do it. It doesn't feel comfortable. You don't like it. So don't make it the opposite way either. It doesn't feel comfortable. Do I think that later as time goes on and everybody gets financially stable in the point of this being a thing, do I think it's okay? Because, you know, I've seen this and one thing somebody tweeted under it that I did agree with is, Sometimes the market utilities and things can very well add up to a thousand dollars. Very much so. Groceries a month for a family Easy. can easily run to six hundred dollars a month. On top of BGE can be anywhere from two to four hundred dollars a month. On top of your water bill, God, on top of your cable bill, ours is two eighty right now. You get what I'm saying? Like on top of your cable bill, all that can easily run a thousand dollars. And don't throw a goddamn kid in there because <laughs> you know it's short. So. All that to say is, you know, once marriage comes into play and, you know, there's one mortgage and there's different dynamics, I think those conversations can be like, babe, you take care of this, I take care of this, and it equals out. But to me, it always ends up being 50-50. Um, me and Jay split rent. <clears throat> Damn, well, I, what if I ain't want nobody to know that shit? Oh, well, nah, we I'm don't fucking say. With you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Me and Jay split rent, but you know, a lot of that, Jay, but Jay still does nah, basically, yeah, other stuff. No, seriously, like, but we both do. Like, <laughs> either way, we both have. Yeah, we split expenses. We period. split expenses, period, because we are here for each other. And like, we're nobody, neither one, none of us are rich. Like, right. and that's my thing. Like, these conversations keep getting had. Like, these niggas is Lori and Future Harvey. F future Harvey. <laughs> wow. wow. Laura. Lori, future Harvey, people keep having these conversations like, you know, there's the, the, there are these balling ass couples like that can just do this. I, like the thing about it is if Jay did have it, like I wouldn't have to pay a dime on nothing. I know that already. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we're just not that and like, we're not there yet. So like stop putting that pressure on people to, you know, first of all, I think it makes it harder for the female. Like keep saying that niggas. I'm like, nah, you a bill. <laughs> right. Like you're, I don't need that bill. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't hold your own. You want me to come in here taking all of that. I don't got that. Like, I don't got that for Because a lot like, of niggas, honestly, no. we can live way cheaper than we living without a relationship. And that's fair and period. Yeah, so like, for a woman to come, the only thing, so the crazy thing about it is, all right, you know, I'm a little different. So on, it was an Instagram post and, and it was like the question. Somebody was like, is she right? Yes or no? And 83% said, no, she's not right. Ooh. All right. So I understand why they say, no, she's not right. And I'm not saying I agree with her, but I understand. So- yeah. I'm um the only thing I didn't like was to say that if somebody doesn't do that he's less than a man. However, like he's I don't think he's less than a man. However, if I had it for real, like 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 you said, like you won't have to pay anything and keep it hundred. Like right. like, and it's coming. You know what I'm saying? It's just that to me. So like I kind of understand what she's saying, but to have that expectation to say he's less than a man if he doesn't, I wouldn't say that. But yeah, honestly, if I had it, like that's not like. You but wouldn't even have to pay the and BGE and or none of that exactly. shit. Exactly. And the thing is, like, I think people, again, get caught up, like, because, like, understanding your partner is a big thing. Like, we all, like, me and Jay know exactly, exactly where we are financially. And, like, I could, I could, if I really asked Jay, but I need you to pay, it's not that he would say no, but I would never tell him to do that because who would I be to not look out for my partner's financial stability? So my Like, I don't think that's right for anybody to not, like, are you paying like you're saying this but clearly you don't have a man because if you did have a man <laughs> like i'm sorry that's how i can't man she might have a man that's balling or that right or that but can afford it or they might be living cheaper right but say that we live cheaper say that you want to get rid of our apartment so bad i mean saying she, she might have an apartment at 600 dollars. of course he paying her yeah you know what i'm saying like it's easy like who the fuck can't afford 600 dollars now when we got a two thousand dollar rent <laughs> we're talking about something different like jay and i cough cough like yes alex this place is two thousand dollars so Oh, wait, you didn't want me to say that? No, it's good. It's cool. Oh, so, but long story short, like, it's one of those things is you don't know who you're going to be dating always, right? That even if she had a balling guy that she may not have in two months from now, or she might meet a guy that she really likes that she falls for who doesn't have it like that. Mm -hmm. What do you say to him? Like, I understand you don't have it like that, but can you pay this $2,000 rent? Because, you know, and I'll pay utilities. Like, it's like, don't short that man that, like, like what are we doing here? Like so, no, uh, this this that. this is a deeper conversation, right? So right, let's, go. let's say one that day comes where I'm getting to the bag, right? 
and I can pay for all that shit. Are are you willing to quit your job? Nah. See? Nah. <laughs> See that? Nah. nah. Because like th- by default, like again, I think it's understanding your partner, right? If once you make it, because we all know that Jay is already skyrocketing, right? Once you make it to that point and your bag is out of control and you might pay rent, I'm not going to quit my job unless you give me a job. <laughs> Straight up. Am I working for you? Am I on your payroll? It, I'll be your whole manager, your assistant. And it's because, like, I'm not about to sit down and not make no money for myself. And I'm not going to just, I'm, like, I think that's a female characteristic. Trait. Like, some, like I, me personally, I got to have my own bag regardless. Like, I can't, when you met me, I was working. When we leave, I'm going to be working. When we're done, I'm gonna be working. I need my own money. And it's not nothing personal of that, oh, I can't watch him control everything. It's just the fact that, like, yo, at any given moment, anything can happen. Honestly, at that point, to keep it 100, you wouldn't work for me. You probably just have your hour. Yeah, like, you had like, your own business. Like, you even. Yeah, like, and what will happen is, and like, what will happen is, like, you'll have your own business, but I'll, your business probably will help me out, if that makes sense. Exactly. Like, like, so it's just like, as long as cohorts, but like, I wouldn't go quit my job until that is secured and we're in those positions. Like, nah, baby, I know you rich now and you get this up, but at least I'm going to work six months and put a savings down to the side. Like, you might be paying everything. I might work six to eight months more, stack up all my checks, put that shit to the side, and then I could live comfortably off of anything that I want and I need that I could pull from my own goddamn stash and be like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, until I, you know... You know, until you find my business and get it jumping up high in. What you, um, <laughs> all right, so on the notes, right, this is not mm-hmm. on there, so you can just tell me yay or nay. Um, did you want to get into that Kevin Hart documentary? Uh, um, it's not can. on the notes, so you don't, don't have to. I can. Um, you probably liked it a lot. I did. I did. I love it. So, um, so I like Kevin Hart's. I mean, it's not that I liked it or didn't like that. I just, I felt like it was a documentary of mainly his trial and error and that's fine uh but there's some things that i seen out of kevin in that that i didn't like like what like when he went in on one of his trainer on the plane like oh yeah i don't care what just like that was not okay like and even when he was like he was going through like you know what i'm saying like i just didn't think that was okay and not to say i'm crucifying him for it we all have make mistakes and we all talk to people sideways maybe sometimes by accident out of emotion but I just didn't like that side that I said. Like to me, he was belittling him, but and so I, did I did not like that. So I was I watching it, like and that. honestly, at that point, I was just trying to see where he was going and keep it hundred because I don't think at he was first belittling I him. was, but he didn't make no point. And then yeah. when it went and when it went from there, it, it it really was. He still made no point to where he was going. So to me, not you right. were just really basically saying, without me, who you gonna be? And like you made no point to it. So because of that. I did not like it. So yeah. basically, he his trainers on. They're on the jet. They're you know they're playing cars for money and whatever. They're just talking. And Kevin goes like, um, basically, if you didn't work here, like, basically, do you think you'll be good? And the, the trainer was like, Yeah, I'll be good. Like I'm good. Like I, I was working before. I'm gonna get good. I'm whatever. He was like, Do you own your home? And I guess the guy didn't own his home. And he was like, no, like I told you, I'm going to be good regardless. Like regardless of which way you do it, I'm going to be good. And he keeps going like, so, but do you own your home? Like almost in an insinuating way, like clearly you don't have a home. You don't have anything. So without this, no, you wouldn't be nothing as if he wants him to say that. First of all, I have a big problem with, we're not in private, right? Mm -hmm. You're just in front of people. You're talking to me crazy. You're not about to talk to me crazy in front of people. You're asking me these personal questions. And you really think that I would tell anybody that I think without you, I'm going to be nothing. Absolutely. Cause nobody has that. Like anybody with motive, motivation and ambition. I don't give a fuck. It's so, a with or without you season every year. So I don't, every so that's year. the thing. I don't think he was saying that even I though do. it looked like that. I don't think he was trying to say that because all right. So what I get from the, from the, um, I think it's, it's over here. So what I get from the, the, the documentary right is Kevin works extremely hard right so I can relate to that because I believe I work extremely hard I feel like we're the same honestly I'm watching the, the documentary I'm like yo this is me I just need you niggas to see it right I remember when um <clears throat> not to go over the tangent but it, it reminds me of when I was becoming a Q somebody asked me why do I want to be a Q and I was like I feel like I'm already a Q I just gotta prove to you niggas so when I'm watching this I'm, I'm literally having that same thought I feel like I'm in a I'm doing the same thing I just gotta prove I make that I say to say Kevin Hart, I don't think he's he's okay with where he's at. He looks very successful to on the outside looking mm-hmm. in, but I don't think he's okay. He said he want to make a he want to be a billion dollar, he want to be a billionaire, and I don't think he's 
satisfied at all where he's at. So mm -hmm. when he was talking to his trainer, yes, coming from Kevin Hart, it can look like he's being belligerent. He's being like just trying to put him out there. But I feel like he was just really saying, yo, do you own your home? No, I don't. Because he said at one point he was like, for games, like take me out of the equation. At one point, he was like, take me out of the equation. And I what I thought he was trying to say was, but he didn't finish, so I don't know. But what I thought, what I took from him was he was just saying, yo, you got so much more to do. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me. You got so much more to do. Because even I got so much more to do. I, I feel like he would have the same conversation with himself. But again, the cameras was there. Yeah, he was and, and I also think like one, he didn't get to the point too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that would have easily dissolved the situation right, had yeah. he just said, Look, what I'm trying to tell you is what I tell myself is like, yo, we have a long way to go no matter yeah, where we are. Yeah. That's different. But I think the problem that I have with Kevin Hart and the same problem that I have with you, and I tell you the same thing is, yo, wherever people are on their journey. Yeah, stop yeah. pressuring them to look at it like you. Yeah. Like, stop telling them, like, yo, I, I'm not satisfied. Some people very well may be satisfied where they at. Right. Don't, like, like, you know, you could say, like, yo, I see, I know you good, but I see so much more for you. And, you know, I, I, I see so much more potential. You could keep going. You could go farther. It's so many ways to say these things. But when you're like, do you own your home? Nah. Do it you, are, up, yeah. if, 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 if you If you weren't working for me, like, take me out of question, would you be all right? Then it comes off as an arrogant and a belittling situation. Now it's no longer you in care of where I will go. Mm -hmm. It's more so your ego overpowering where I am. And yeah. I don't like that. Like, right. you know what I mean? And that's what, like, those things, like, when I watched it, like, I feel like I seen little clips of, like, even when it, like, I was falling asleep on the first episode but, or the second one, whatever, when they were talking about what happened with the, the what he said about gay people or, like, the mm -hmm. jokes he said. And he, and a lot of people was like, yo, if he would just take what he's saying and just understand, like, and just let people feel how they feel and stop trying to say, like, I already explained what I had to say. Like, just, like, nah, I understand. Like, you come off arrogant, like, yeah, I didn't mean to, like, I knew what I was trying to say, so fuck how y'all feel. You cannot be that way with people. Like, you just can't. And I think watching that documentary, I think that Kevin still has a lot of growing up to do, not just business-wise. I think, like, he's, you know, he's not satisfied where he is. That's his personal problem. But as far as his mentality, I think he has a lot of maturing to do with his mentality. And I think that's why a lot of the humbling situations have happened to him with, the, you know, having to go through that with the press of what he said to the gay people, of having the situation with his wife come out of him cheating, of having his teammate betray, betraying him and extorting him for what these things will show you, you need to humble up. Like you need to humble up. And that's why I didn't really I care. Like, that's why it wasn't no significant to me. Like I didn't look at him and like, oh my God, this like I looked at him like, okay, you an average person still trying to grow and get your shit together. Like cool. and that's cool to know. It's, but it's to be in you know I look at I, it's crazy because I look I didn't see none of that. I was I, I was very pleased with the documentary. I'm like, I feel like I don't know, it was, it was so it, I don't want to say it was motivational to me. Um, but it was definitely like a confirmation, if anything, to me, honestly. It was like, yo, this nigga is working extremely hard. I feel like I see a lot of things in him that I'm doing, even with him having like different shows. He has his own network. Uh, you can just put him there. Um, uh, like, it was just, to me, I don't know. That's When I looked at it, I was like, I was pleased. Yeah. Thanks, dog. Mm -hmm. I was pleased with it. Uh, but Yeah, I mean, I didn't care for it. Um, I am a Kevin Hart fan to a certain degree. He's not somebody I look to for, like, you know, like, some success story that I, like, he's not one of those for me. But, you know, I respect his grind and his hustle, of course, but I don't think I overall <clears throat> do I feel like. No, it makes sense. Nah, let's I let's, don't. let's but get back. Whose who's documentary I did love that I finished was Meek Mills. Yeah. I did love his documentary. I, I was very sad to a certain degree, but I loved I didn't How know. he overcame those triumphs of situations that he had no control over. To me, that was spoke a lot. It, it, I, I respect Meek in a different light than I respected Meek before. Okay. Until we just see you know, what happened with Nicki wait, Minaj. Wait, wait, wait. What you mean until? Not until. Because you're a Nicki Minaj hold on, fan. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. I am also a Meek fan. Ooh. I am diehard mm. Nicki fan. I never said anything until. I'm just saying now he's in some other drama. And I think one thing that people keep saying is, Meek will steadily find his way in drama. That's why I said until. Um, I don't know whose fault because I've seen two sides of two separate stories. I don't know who started what. Yeah. Um, however, this is ghetto. First of all, y'all are gonna stop it right now. 
y'all gonna yeah, stop your, it your right source, the so, fuck now. So let's go with let's say let's say hypothetically your source is right because your source said my source said that they ended up in the same store. Meek, mm-hmm. so Meek was in a store. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Petties walk into the store. The Petties, if you know, Nicki Minaj and, and her Kenneth. new fiance Kenneth Petty, right? They walk in. So. Meek was already with his 10 bodyguards, bouncers, friends, whoever you want to call it. N- uh, Nikki and her fiance were by themselves. Ne- uh, my source says that Meek went to Kenneth to try to squash the beef that they had prior. Right. Now, as you know, the nigga Meek done put out a whole diss song to her man and basically was going in on her man on a song. You know, d- you know, her- a lot of stuff they all went through over the years. Kenneth Petty, like, nah, bro, keep that same energy, right? right? Which stemmed into a back and forth because now Meek's trying to apologize. Kenneth, like, fuck you. Body bar- bodyguards jump in, like, ho, 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 none of that. Kenneth defending himself, like, nah, fuck all y'all niggas. And now we got this whole riff raff going on. Your source so also said source. that uh, um, Kenneth was like, Let's talk one on one, right? No, the source said that Meek said, "Let's go outside one on." No, 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 Your no, no. Source, source said, said that. Kenneth, my source said that. No, no. Yeah. Ken, my source said that Kenneth Petty told them, "Let's go out one on one outside." Right. And Meek told them, "Nah, we don't gotta go one on one outside." Right. Like, so you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, like I'm a boss. No, nah, I was like, say I'm a boss. Like you know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm going to the Rock Nation brunch tomorrow. I don't have time for the yeah. BI. So, so I, uh, I say I only say let's yeah. go. Let's go with your source because my source said that Meek said that, but he didn't because on a, on, a, on a video it was clear that Meek was like. No, I'm not going mm-hmm. not talking to you one on one. So, with that being said, honestly, if I'm Meek right now, I'll probably have that conversation one on one. But in Meek's shoes, he can't. I'm not having that for what? Yeah, because, because if Kenneth he got Fala more, I want to fight, fight yeah. him now. It's a whole different. And then situation. you got he got more to lose than Kenneth. Honestly, yeah. I mean you yeah, dating Nicki Minaj, but yeah. honestly, good, if bro, if bro. if Kenneth knocked Meek hypothetically, if Kenneth knocked Meek out, it's going to be Kenneth not like you know what I'm saying like. You can knock yeah. him out and it's going to be... Nope. Nobody going to care. Niggas like, you right. not... Wow. So you wait, know what what's your source say overall, the story? What now, my source say? was saying that uh, Meek Mill was like, yo, let's talk one-on-one. Um, we don't have to do all, all this in front of everybody, whatever. Oh, so you're sorry. You basically just said your source don't know what the fuck they talk about because... Probably, because yeah. I heard on a video he said, no, yeah. I'm not talking to you one-on-one. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so like, but what I will say is, uh, come, Meek, like, even this, this right here, period... Even if you want to go talk to someone one or not, we don't need this. Cause I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a Meek fan. Like I'm a. I think honestly, I ain't gonna say that. I, I'm a Meek fan. I think Meek is one of the realest ever, right? Yeah, I so I, I say that to say, I say that to say, like we, I seen Meek come out of nowhere. So even the, even this argument, we don't even need it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, all right, bet. As soon as Nick Minaj come a bitch, he kind of. Are you right now? I'm, I'm out. None of that. We don't need none of that extra shit. So what I will say is I think that's kind of how it went, though. I think a lot of that, a lot of the cussing and the guan about, sorry, guan about, um, a lot of the cussing, sorry, you know, um, I think that a lot of that came from Nikki and Kenny. Yeah, like a lot of that, like came, bitch. you know what I'm saying? But still was feeding into it, though. He was feeding into it, but I, I think like a lot of that happened because of his bodyguards kind of stepping in. I think, like, honestly, a lot of times... Listen. Miscommunication happened a lot. If your friends around and people around, they hype the situation too. Fuck all because that. A I'm a Meek times, fan, no, and I'm I ain't giving you, them I'm, that much leverage. Meek should have just dipped. All right, Fuck but, it. Here, but here's the thing, right? I could understand what Meek was doing. You know, you know. I can understand Meek, too, Meek, but when you talk about understanding, so hold, on, uh, hold the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. So I think a lot of it was right. Meek is in a a place, a different place now. He done went through everything he went through. Like he's off of, you know, he's out of prison. Like he's on this path of just like doing the right thing. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not on drugs no more. Drugs meaning Percocets. I ain't saying like drugs, drugs or whatever. He's he's just really in his new mindset. And I think he saw that as an opportunity to just be like a stand up guy. Like, look, I don't want to smoke with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's no secret. He cares about Nikki. And I think that's one of those things Like, I care about her and I care, I want her to be happy and, I, and I'm good with that. And I could understand that place he's coming from. But to be honest, I would have never said nothing to him. Some <clears throat> things, and this is what I'd be saying. Like, we had a conversation about this. I said, some things don't need no mending. Some things you could just be like, you know what? In my heart, I'm good about it. I don't need to do that, but I don't need to go out my way to make amends. I don't need to try to squash or make some things you got to take and be like, you know what? I'm at peace with it. I'm okay with it. I don't need to talk to anybody. What are you talking anybody. about right now? Because I'm saying the same thing you're saying. 
I never said that. I'm telling it from my voice, oh, okay. okay? So what I'm saying is, do I think that he needed to talk to them? No. Now, what I will say is, I didn't really appreciate how Nikki was calling him a bitch. You know, I'm a Nikki fan. I didn't appreciate how she was kind of going. I know she going up with her man, but I think that was a time where she should have let two men deal with the situation. Her man, your man's there. <laughs> you don't need a, you really don't need a step in and say nothing. I would have just sat there like, come on, babe, mm -mm, we could go. You feeding it like you a bitch ass shows me that Nikki cares in a way yeah. that she doesn't need to Yeah, right there. Cause you shouldn't have said and then nothing she, to him. She even said something like, "You still want me or something?" Like, yeah, what are you, what like are we you talking did, like, about? Like, she had no business talking right there. It's two grown ass men. You know your nigga crazy. We know me, me crazy. Let them talk it out or do what they need to do. But she also egging it on like that gives Kenneth even a little more battery yeah. in his back to be like, yeah, because now my woman's riled up now. Like, you know what I'm saying? She should have let them two I, men so talk. And I didn't think it was necessary. weird now because now I, I definitely think now that we talk about this because I didn't even give the Kenneth dude no thought. Mm -hmm. I don't like one. Even if Meek was trying to, trying to uh, squash some beef, right? Once it got out of hand, Meek said, "This, you right." Ain't I? I shouldn't hear nothing else from Meek. Period. But now that I'm thinking about it, if my girl is calling a nigga bitch, I don't think I'm like I don't. I'm not agging it on no more neither. Like I'm right. on my girl. Like I'm like nah, baby, we out. We out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because like, like what's my? Now she talking for me. Yeah, now, like now. now I feel yeah, like, like yeah, like no, I yeah. We didn't need to do that. Yeah, but I mean, and but you gotta understand, and that's why I said I know me could have walked away, but what happened is now Nikki calling my bitches now. Like now you wildin', like relax, like yeah. it ain't even that deep. And now it doesn't matter what me say, the nigga Kevin's gonna yeah, turn I, up regardless. I ain't gonna lie for if, you know if, what if, I'm if, if, if a nigga girl call me a bitch while he right there, I, I probably wanna fight him. Yeah, but again, like, nah, I'm not Meek Mill. Me got more to lose than me again. I'm not Meek Mill. Because a like, girl disrespect like, me, I'm trying to fight the, the closest nigga right. to her. But the thing is, you know what? I, I think Meek handled it right because the nigga wanted to go outside. And he was like, no, nah, I'm good. And I'm a boss. I'm not doing that. Kudos to Meek. People was calling him a bitch for it. Oh, he ain't want of no Of course, smoke. they not. And we oh, get, um, niggas not Meek. But y'all don't understand. Like, Meek got a lot He's of shit to lose. Yeah. He's been on probation for 11 fucking years. Yeah. He don't need a step in no crossfire. That's and damn sure with Nicki Minaj's nigga. Yeah. Mind you, allegedly, you know, him and his little baby mother was at the Rock Nation brunch <laughs> taking pictures together. Wait, wait, not allegedly. First of all, oh, he let's, say, said it? let's say shout out to Meek for handling it like that. But also, let's, let's, get, let's get into it. Shout out to my guy, Meek, for... Announcing. Oh, he announced it. Yeah, what you ain't seen the picture. No, I seen the picture, but I didn't see him saying nothing on it. I mean, I thought that was enough. Oh, well, yeah, period. She was so, pregnant. She yeah, like, yeah. She, yeah. That's why I said he brought his boo to the Rock Nation brunch. They was together to their picture in a pink. I loved it. So all that to say, I think that was another reason why he originally wanted to squash the beach. He now got a baby on the way. It's like I'm in my own situation. You in your situation. All right, man, uh, let's get, I just want to be petty for one second. This this is why they wanted to. This is why Kevin's mad. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I, I, it, but that's why Kenneth said keep that same. Yeah, I'll probably be like, yeah, I'm good I too, don't want like... to say a lie. If a bitch ever made a song like that to Jay about me, bitch, don't don't I don't don't congratulate me. Yeah. Don't come talk to me. You ain't my friend. We ain't nothing. So I understand that too. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I really do. You know, like, you know. I heard Nicki must got some fire because she got niggas that can app. No, that's not what that means. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, she might, but why you got the face on? I, nah. can, I, can I get my nigga in perspective? What? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like her shit looks stiff. Like, her shit just look like she she can't take well, it. She don't look. But 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 for my Trini girls, them, I know what's going on. <laughs> Period, boo. <laughs> Oh, so you think she she got? No, I'm, I mean it's Nicki fucking Minaj. Like we're not about to play. Like so I mean, even if she, she got doesn't, good no, because her name Nicki I'm not Minaj? saying that. I'm saying. Oh, even so you if she want Nicki Minaj? Oh yeah, I, I sit with Nicki any day. But all, what I'm saying is, okay. what I'm saying is, I'm not saying she do or she don't. But what I'm Wish saying me is, luck, fellas. And, well, sorry, sorry, hey, sorry. Meek tweeted it. He put it in the tweet. He said he was gonna get Nicki and got her. Come on, let's tweet about it right now. Nah. All right, boom. So what I'm saying is, I don't want Nicki. Well, we could we could probably have somebody else. 
Bust that ass, Nikki. That's her second, because you know Quavo just in the, in the fucking song too. I don't know, Nikki. Come on, get your shit together. I, I, I'm rooting for you. Do. But all that to say is, I'm not saying that she does or she don't. But I'm saying it's Nikki fucking Minaj. Like for niggas not to oh, walk yeah, yeah, over yeah, her, yeah. it's yeah, kind of stupid. Nikki. It's like it's, it's Nikki. Nikki. Like it's who Nikki. are we talking about right now? Hey, speaking of the Rock Nation brunch, we um, in there next year. Yo, period, yo, who niggas was looking good? Shout, oh Ka- my god, it was so many people look good. Casanova look good. Yes, Casanova look nice. Um, Big Sean look nice. Big Sean. I ain't gonna lie. Christian looked nice. Diddy's son looked nice. Mm. I like his. I like how. how I like nice his did look. He, look? he was like. All right, there we go. Yeah. See, we like. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Shy, good looking young man. I, I like the like. Him. You know, B always look good. Queen B, no, who she I thought thick. looked good. Sweetie, I love Sweetie. Is I didn't even see it. everybody talking about that. Fuck. I, she looks look. so nice. Sweetie looked really nice. Sweetie? I even, I even all like, day. Sweetie over uh, Nicki Minaj all day. And looks wise, yeah. I'm saying she might. All right, let's tweet City. I'm with that too. I ain't gonna lie. Let's put it in. But um, <laughs> Sweetie looked great. Um, Megan looked great. I love the way Megan looked. Um, you know, people might drag me for this. Please don't, because I love, love Rihanna. She looking thick, thick. I don't know. Like, okay, so I love that weird oversized look to a degree, but I feel like she's really covering her body like a lot lately. Like in a, in a way where she's just putting anything over a fucking dress now. Now it's just like throw anything over. But her can dress, we all right, oversize can, and it's gonna make it a can, thing. She can do that because it's re re fucking Anna. But what I'm saying is, what's going on with so that? So can we can we can we? All right, I don't know. What's let me let me ask, let me ask this question first. Does Rihanna have any procedures done? Does she have? Ever? I don't think so. Nah. So, no, I don't think so if if she hasn't, I just want to say yo, shout out to Shorty, but because even if she's getting thick, it's all natural. Yeah. A lot of these people not they. They're but not natural, know, even Beyonce. Thinking, like, because she hiding her body a lot. Like, she wearing these dresses. Like, Rihanna can be a tink. Like, not to say this looks good on her, and I'm not saying she's supposed to show her body and stuff, but the coats, like, put the fucking coat in the closet. God damn, it's a coat for she's everything. Probably, she's probably... She'll have a prom dress on coat. She's probably not liking her body, though. And I understand it, but Rihanna, you look great. Always look great. You love your body, baby. But you a lot of people are self-conscious, though. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you see what the fuck going on over here, sitting with my waist trainer on, period. Uh, Do you want to skip through some orders, or? What we got? What we got? We got... Oh. Mm. We can talk about... I mean, we got... Mm. Texas, first of all, Texas team... Um, Get banned from the high school for attending yeah, graduation. Fuck Texas. Yeah. For, yeah. That's first of whack. all, y'all should have been. That's fucking like what whack. I will say is what I will say is I understand that in different places they have different rules. I understand that. However, you gotta let that nigga know that way before. Yeah, don't let him like, be about to graduate. You know what I'm saying? Like, some that's some bullshit. Shit. And honestly, open up your fucking mind to diversity because honestly, hair should not be a thing that stops people from graduating. I'm sorry. Like my preference on how I'm wearing my hair. And I understand if you say, make sure you look in a clean, fashionable manner, fine. But you're not going to tell somebody to cut their hair. 100%. Like you're out of pocket. And, um, and, and, and honestly, whoever's sitting on those boards and those committees, cutting the committees, committees, com- committees. Let me Texas. know. Let's me know that y'all have no culture on that board. Cut the shit, Texas. Yeah, get some fucking culture. But who, honestly, though, um, uh, right at home. What? So remember, I showed you the video of Delonte West. We talking about Antonio Brown. Shout out to the, yo, the judge. Smart. This is what Meek should have had this judge because this judge was smart. So, um, Antonio Brown's judge ordered him. To community service when he got arrested. Antonio Brown got arrested because they uh unless he was throwing rocks at somebody a moving truck and then they beat him up or whatever the case may be. He he had a warrant, he turned himself in. The uh judge ordered him to um some community service. I say that to say, because when we talking about I mean not community service, they ordered him to some counseling and uh therapy. He needed that. Shout out Fact, to that judge for that. Because everybody was talking about it, yeah, and now it's happening. Yeah. But Remember when we talking like about how like lot. people go crazy after their their success or whatever? Yeah. And I showed you a video of Delonte West, and you saw he was was going through some things. Mm-hmm. And the video of him talking crazy came from a fucking cop in Maryland. Oh, so Jesus. but he got suspended, right? He got suspended. So shout out to the accountability. Thank shout you. out was it Prince George's uh cops? Shout out to PG cops. Yeah. Shout out to the yeah, gu- they the, needed uh, that one what's the person in charge PG of the cops? Cop was Wallen. The um commissioner or shout yeah. out to the PG County Police Commissioner for yeah. Were they suspended? Thank him? you they for suspend- doing your job this yeah. time. Yeah, because that shit 
My nigga, you was a cop. Why the fuck is you a rec- That's dumb. That's not even smart. Like, why you... Granted, yeah, it was fucked up. He was. He looked yeah. crazy, but why yeah. you record? That's dumb. Yeah. Like, but why are you on work recording anyway? Because he's Delonte West. Like, what are that you That shows fan- you how pressed you are. What are you fan struck? Like, cut the shit. But, like, you know, Prince George's County has a lot of things going on with their cops, so I need them to get their shit together. They finally arrested... They finally um charged a man who was raping... Pulled the girl over and raped her... Wow. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the fuck is going on with police officers, but more holding them accountable, yeah. more paying, it looks like paying the for their family. So thank you, yeah. PG County, for setting the bar, letting niggas know, hold your cops accountable for every single thing <clears throat> they do because they do have a badge, which means they do have a level of authority Facts. that does not need to just get swept under the rug. Thank you for that. And yes. lastly, uh, we actually on time. I'm um, lastly. I told y'all then I told y'all Tinder was for fucking. I've been told y'all this. It's for fucking and it's pr- been it's proven. Fu- it's been proven at time and time out of the game. Before we get to the point, right? Y'all see the uh the they little memes that's y'all yeah, but before we get to that, y'all seen the memes that's going around, right? Which one? Every okay. everybody Tinder picture is like the sexy picture trying to like get some yeah. pussy. Yeah. So some pussy. So that's one. Two is they added a emergency button. For dating, but so that shows you. The, no, that shows Stop. you that it's clearly a dating app for dating. It's clearly time out, time out, time out. It's, first of all, it's not to that's get married. That's actually <laughs> a thing. And like, so t- first of all, Facebook lately, don't have it, Instagram don't have it, Twitter don't have it. Don't have what? Co- a, a emergency button for dating. But it's, what? Okay, but I don't know well, if you've seen the memes. A panic button. I don't know if you've seen the memes lately. That have been showing how even restaurants or at the bar, you could order a certain drink. If you say on the rocks, like you could say, I forgot the name of the drink, but if you say on the rocks, that means the bartender is going to call you a, a, a Uber. Because if you're with somebody, if they if okay, you say dope. straight, that means they're going to call the cops, like without some without the person that's near you noticing. Also in restaurants, they're also putting inside the, the, the ladies bathroom. If you know um, something, I forgot exactly what it was, but it's like, pee on this like if you and put it through there's something like weird where it's like if it's an emergency you can't get out of it. if it's some type of domestic situation abuse mm-hmm. situation you're trying to get out of it basically everybody's doing the alert thing it's not because of fucking jay all i'm saying it's is it's clearly actually, a app no, to get some no it's to get clearly some. because it's aggressors out here and they're fucking aggressive and there's no self-control out here so unfortunately there has to be a guard for everything so thank you tinder for putting the panic button up there because niggas is pressed if it was for fucking they would and have no panic no they would have a panic fuck. button because listen it's listen then they they know that their app is for people to, to do a quick hookup so because they know it's for people to do a quick hookup i'm gonna put this panic button just in case something go wrong that you don't want to go wrong all i'm saying instagram twitter facebook is not for no, but, to meet somebody they, okay but tender is clearly to meet somebody all right that's what that's all i'm saying but it's not for fucking we know tender is to meet somebody because that's the whole point of tender that's all i'm saying but don't ain't do to that get married. i keep telling what sorry, i sorry, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. married off i know, of tender. I, know, I, know, I, know I know i'm joking I'm and joking. i'm not knocking tender not knocking it hey, i shout will out. never use it because it's not my thing and i'm scared of strangers but you never gonna use it because you're scared of strangers or because yeah. you got a nigga the fuck no i'm saying like if we ever broke up i wouldn't well, use if it. we ever like, I'm not saying if, like... Hey, shout out to Bel Air. Yeah. The Gemini Scorpio podcast has come to a... Episode 11, babe. Has come to an end because she's talking about if we... Uh, wow. God forbid. I'm just saying, Jay, if you say he went and left me or something. Yeah. Like, I spent that. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Mr. underscore J Hill, M R underscore J A Y H I L L. And you know the vibes at Healer Bay, H E A L E R B A E underscore. Period. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure you follow uh, the Gemini Scorpio Pod on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. Click the alert button on YouTube. Uh, make sure you follow us on Not Anchor. That different type of alert system. Just want to let you know. Yeah. Follow us on anchor.fm. Uh, you can follow us on um, Apple Podcasts. You can follow us on uh, Spotify. You can follow us on anywhere you can find podcasts. We are there. Zero, one, one, the Gemini Scorpio Podcast. It's a wrap.